Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Hey Car, Nicole, Slimmer, Rob. How you doing guys? How is everything? Welcome to the Sunday stream. Uh, we're just going to share our links out in a couple of places here. And then we'll have a little catch up, shall we? See how everyone's doing. Won't be live for as long tonight. Uh, I'm hoping to kind of get an early night. <laughs> I had a horrific sleep yes, uh, last night anyway. Do some late night Minecraft action happening in the, in the Discord server. Okay, there we go. Let's have a little catch up, shall we? Let's find a little place to say our hellos. Maybe over the new farmland that we did last week. There we go. Oh, that car is very loud. <laughs> hey, see who's here. Hey, Steve, G, Panna, Justin, Miner. Atta, how's it going guys? Mod Jane is here. Welcome, welcome. Beautiful city, thank you so much, Cube. Yeah, hope it's had a nice week. Welcome to Sunday stream, everyone. It's um it's nice to be back, isn't it? It's nice to be back. What a lovely day it's been. It's been sunny today. Hey Ash, oh hi. Oh hi to you as well. Hey Jeff, Karina, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Hope you're okay. Uh, okay, let's get started, shall we? Um, so we've got a little bit of demand for industries right now. Makes sense to go ahead and expand our farmland. Uh, let's see what we've got to work with. Yeah, we're still on the small crop fields, aren't we? Okay, that's fine though. Let's um, let's carry on in this configuration. I think it would be nice to have a little bit of farmland spice straight outside of the houses. Yeah. Egg is the boil theme, your favourite the map themes? Um, probably, yeah. Yeah, it, I would probably say it is. It's mainly due to Paladin though, it's not like I've played loads of them. And it just so happens that the, the city I picked for this 2021 tutorial one was Boreal too. But yeah, I do like Boreal. I think Boreal's quite cute. Okay. Did we use decoration on this pathway? Yes we did. So we'll have it here as well. And how about we switch up the crop here maybe? Is this potatoes? It is potatoes. Hey Taters, welcome to the stream mate. How are you all? Ross as well, welcome guys. 52 viewers straight off the bat, welcome to the stream everyone. Okay, yeah, I think I'm happy with the aesthetic of the, the crops changing up here. Have you thought about the snow modded map? Or are you not doing it? Um, we're doing a snow map um, after Palavan. As to kind of how many mods it will have installed on it. It will probably just be like quality of life ones. Kind of tree brush, prop line tool, etc. But yeah. We will do a snow city after Palavan. Okay, and then because we're not going to be able to repeat this perfect field pattern here. Let's kind of come in with a little bit of... Farmland decorating just to help kind of blend this area in. So it's come out from. It's come to the angle as well as the road guideline. Okay. Nice to see you live. Thank you, Leo. Okay. Um, we do have a district over here that's set to regular farm industry zonable stuff, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's start working with this premise. Let's come out to road length and angle. And we'll just start to help generate a couple of little zoning opportunities where we can squeeze in some of this stuff. Okay, so we're going for a little batch here. We can just pick these out and plot the growables, but we'll try and... Got some different shapes and patterns in. One over here. It's like really small amount of zoning. Hey Kendai, welcome to the stream. Look at all the love in the community guys. Everyone's saying hello to each other. <laughs> Things you love to see. Things you love to see. If you delete the road and draw it in one tile away from the field, it will still have road access, but you can fit a fence between the field and the road. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. Can we not still get it in anyway? It looks like there's space. 
Go in with the farm fence. Yeah, we can still get it around. Maybe this side as well. Yeah, yeah, we can still squeeze it in. Okay, are you farming? You don't look farming. Oh, I forgot I called... <laughs> I forgot that we called this place Backdoor Farm. No. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Happy Sunday. Maybe a little here as well. Okay, and then we'll just start to maybe come through with... Some really basic decoration in the grid. Not here though, we're a little tight against that little supplementary road. The farm, yeah, everyone's slowly remembering the farm from last week. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot about Backdoor Farm. Okay. Just some basic little borders to give the impression this is kind of like a separate yard, right? Away from the crops and the fields. Hello, I watch you with Polish. Greet. Hey, dude. Thanks for the support from Poland, mate. Appreciate it. I'm stopping by on the stream. Hmm, any other industry farm assets we can also use for decoration here? There are, of course, silos and barns available. Maybe we can remember the silo. Maybe not a barn. I feel like barns are little dedicated areas within the farm itself, but I might have a little play today. Okay. Let's bring some some border in path spice. Okay. Hold up a minute to say Minecraft, I know man. Minecraft fever has taken over the Discord <laughs> this week, hasn't it? There's, a, there's been a few people that have really surprised me with the love for Minecraft. I think it's uh, it's really taken off. Nice to see you though. It's good to see that Captain Tin inspired you. <laughs> Especially DM, kind of, for the... Uh, ever since that 25k subscriber special, DM has not been off Minecraft. Okay, this might not be the best place for this to be placed. It seems to be okay, it's filling up, but we'll keep our eye on it. Bringing Minecraft back, yeah, it does seem to be making something like a resurgence, doesn't it? Not that I'm owing Minecraft's popularity to myself in any way, but... I think, um, I think it's nice that it's coming back. It's nice to have a different game being streamed in the server as well, that isn't it is. Okay, this is okay, I think. Let me bring some little, like, vanilla dirt paths. It's kind of like back access roads, little pathways into these buildings. You can kind of justify that, right? I think maybe just come out by one though here so we don't get that connection through the fence. We're fantastic. It's going to give us some new crop fields as well. And then maybe let's come through with some tough bits of overgrowth. Really not after kind of a landscape look here. This is very kind of overgrown. How about like a U on the corner of the farm? How are we going to feel about that? Evening from New York City. Evening from the northwest of England, badge. Hey, Jürgen. Welcome to the stream, mate. Okay. That wasn't bad. We definitely need more weight in assets over this side, though. So maybe let's take this fence away. And then just come out to our angle. And then include just a touch more farm zone in here. Yeah, see, this is what we want, right? Just these little smaller ones, these little sheds. Perfect decoration for larger farms. Okay, so let's carry on with our little overgrown bits in between. Where we're not going to zone up. Okay, a couple over here as well, maybe. Just smaller bits. Okay. Maybe another U in this corner as well. 
maybe switch down to some small trees as we kind of come into these slide up areas. Nice build. I really like the aesthetics. Do you use any mods? Um, yes, we do on this city. Uh, we're playing with Pot the Growables and Find It, which we very rarely use. Uh, and we're also playing with uh, Prop Line Tool as well, so we can draw out trees in nice straight patterns. <laughs> but yeah, not too many mods on the channel. Just quality of life stuff, really. Okay. How are we feeling about this? Mm, the entrance needs a little bit of pink tree taken away from it, but not too much. What we'll do is we'll come through with the fence in on the angle. And maybe just come through with just some basic repeated bush spice, nothing too serious, just to help accentuate that opening. You there and you here, indeed. We've got 110 people here. Welcome to the Sunday stream, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Yes, that's what we want, right? I think just a little cluster where we know we can't squeeze any major fields in. A little bit of vanilla industrial zoning goes a long way, I think. Okay. It's coming along already, this city, isn't it? How about the little bird's eye view? Okay, cool. And um, we still got that industrial demand, so maybe let's start looking at introducing some of those larger fields that we've just unlocked. So we've got the medium, medium crops. Maybe let's go for some fruit, some fruit spice, if you will. Hmm, not here though. We'll bring this road out. And then we can continue to... <laughs> Sorry, I just caught a, another look at the name. <laughs> Battle Farm. And we can continue to repeat this little three pattern here. And then maybe come through some of the larger crop fields on this point. Let's see if we can get that going. So if we came through here with maybe some potato spice. How is that going to start to look? Moan Ash D with a three pound <laughs> super sticker. It's um, it's the love heart fox pushing its cheeks together. Thank you so much, Ashley. I appreciate the support. <laughs> it's always nice to see that face, isn't it? I think it is. That is quite a funny name. I'm glad you agree. Everyone else in the stream last week seemed to as well. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go for three more. I'm aware of just how many crop fields that we're placing here. The traffic might get a little bit insane. Because farms are never this busy. <laughs> Ever. Any chance I can tip to have that farm named after me? Um, you can name this one. Oh yeah, I know you had, uh, it wasn't a tip last week, was it? Yeah, if you want a tip, mate, you can do. We'll name either the farm district or the actual farm if you want to. You can do. I was just going to say, like, if it was a tip from last week, then we can't really change it, but it was just an idea that happened. It wasn't a tip, was it? Yeah, is the answer to your question, Ross, if you want to. <laughs> yes, you can, mate. Okay, oh, are you being serious? That's outside of the... The map boundary? That's so annoying. <laughs> that is so annoying. How much are you thinking of expanding this city? Um, I'm not really sure yet, to be fair. We're just kind of winging it each week. Um, we'll kind of bounce back between this and Palavan when Palavan has things that need doing. So yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of play it by ear. I, d I don't think it'll be taken as far as Palavan, because, you know, Palavan's kind of the, the crown and jewel of the channel, if you like. Okay. Just trying to think what we want between this space here. Hmm. Do 
don't think we're going to have a zone in here. Where's this artery we're going to flow? Okay. Um, let's grab these two. Okay. Oh, Spice Cat with a five years doll super chat. Here's Tree Fiddy for the Minecraft server. Thanks, mate. Rip money now, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Spice Cat. Appreciate the super chat, mate. Um, and for the support of the Minecraft server, but you guys don't need to do that. It's only like six pounds a month or something. It's not a lot. <laughs> And yes, Rip Man United. Um, we played absolutely shocking, terrible tactics for Molly tonight. Appreciate the super chat, Spice Cat. And Ross Hicks with a £2 super chat. Hick Farm, please. There we go. Okay, well, we'll go for Hick Farm over here. Um, Hick Farm, hold on. What are you doing? Yo, chill out, uh, Slimmer. Just like, stop antagonizing the mods, mate. Just enjoy the stream. Please and thank you. Otherwise, it'll be a good night, Vienna. Okay, so the farm. Oh, I appreciate the super chat as well, Ross, by the way. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just wary about placing this many farm assets. How is it holding up on the main road? No offence, but imagine being a United fan. Yeah, it's been tough going the last few years, mate. I'll give you that one. Hmm... I'm, I'm not sure I'm even keen on the repeated aesthetic with the buildings in the middle. I don't know if I just kind of, maybe the occasional one, but mostly small farms. I don't know. I feel like we need to maybe come back to that. Let's take a break and do some smaller macro detail in here. And we're going to rework how this path is going to flow. Let's go and grab our freeform too. And then we'll just start to follow along here and link in in a couple of different places. Think like that'd be okay. It's a side of a fence to maybe accompany this path as well. I think we're mainly using farm fence here, are we? There's nature reserve fence down here. Do we have cycle roads? Yes, we do. Let's start the cycle highway from this waterfront. And then we'll turn this arterial into cycle infrastructure as well. If Mass is here, then uh, he'll be over the moon. Okay. Let's take away a lot of this, a lot of this stuff. And then allow this arterial to keep flowing in this direction. Let's terraform first, of course. Let's make sure we have a look what we're working with first of all, actually. I think there's another opportunity for a little, little waterfront area here with some layers of height up against this elevated highway. It's quite similar to what we've done in Palavan recently, actually, with the, the road down to the port. Okay. Let's see what develops. Do some small terraforming here. Dig out a bit of a cavity for the arterial to sit on. Run a cycle path along that road. Yeah, we could do, to be fair. Um, although we'd have to switch into cycle infrastructure at some point. Because if the road's going to be cycle, mm, that fractures our path as well. Hmm. 
I don't think, maybe we don't need one. We don't really need this path here, do we? Let's also kind of think of this from a logical point of view. Maybe we'll just... What's the distance here? 60. So if we snap into the grid... And maybe just repeat this in a couple of little places. It's not quite as obvious there where the incline smoothens out a little bit. But we'll play with the idea. We'll play with it. So maybe just a couple of these. You know what? Maybe actually, maybe a little bit of commercial in them. Just kind of little smaller blocks like this. And then we can do something nice with the waterfront too. And then where we don't have any kind of zoning, or detailing. We'll bring just some basic fence patterns through to accompany these pathways. Just as such, nothing crazy. Let's go over the road. Yeah, yeah, we could come down this side. I think what we're going to do with this area is maybe like a little education point include a couple of education assets in here because we we are getting some education problems at the minute and we do need to plop some schools down we need both of them and we can start on a university now as well if we want maybe we start university today maybe we can uh enjoy a little university together it's been a while since we've done a campus Okay, so some of this is within the Green Cities area. I think we will make it all Green Cities commercial. I think it'll give us a nicer, nice looking area maybe. With a lighthouse at the end of the peninsula. Not if Casino has anything to say about it. <laughs> Not if Casino. Hey DM, welcome to the stream mate. How you doing? Okay, and then let's just let this road come in and hug the arterial as it comes in. There, there he is. <laughs> defending uh, defending the lighthouses. Hey, I just stopped by to say hi. Hey, Keith. Appreciate it, mate. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Okay. I'm, I'm not totally sold on this idea yet. We will just take a minute to observe from multiple angles. Let's bring these two together. Okay, and then come down this side as well. Lighthouse people unite. Team Lighthouse, there, there they are. <laughs> Instantly out to fight Casino. Let's move a little further away from that bend just so we're not getting that awkward clipping. There we go. Okay. So let's kind of decorate out one of these blocks and see what we think. Uh, let's go for some nice base layer of overgrowth, of course. Kind of start us off here. All right. And then come around the back of them as well. Grab ourselves some smaller trees. Nothing overly exciting at this point. Move up to something a little bigger, and then maybe just a couple of kind of larger standout numbers very, very infrequently. Just so we get that very big pop of height within the nature line here. Grab some little small trees again too. And we'll just kind of see how we think about transitioning from this little suburbia into what will eventually be kind of educational infrastructure. I think I like it. I do think the zoning might be a little bit too infrequent though. Maybe let's start including a little bit more. Maybe like one there and then 
we could get something down here. I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a really cute little market that spawns with this configuration. Maybe let's try out some different green city shapes and see what everyone thinks. Let's bring them into the, the district as well. Okay. Let's return. With our fence in. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with kind of the overgrowth and tree line aesthetic. <laughs> Which, when are we never happy with that? I think everyone can never appreciate a little bit of overgrowth, right? Hey, I cut you okay? How long have you been streaming? Hey, Ian, I'm not too bad, mate. And we've been streaming for 26 minutes. Hope you're doing well as well, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. More trees here. I'll make sure we keep jumping between our different little tree options here. We could just use the tree brush, but we haven't. <laughs> and that's not because I forgot I had it installed. Welcome to the Sunday stream, everyone. 148 people here now. Hope everyone's had a good week. Yeah, it's these little market assets that are really nice. Goes really well with the green belt. And see here, like this little... Get some people using these elevated zoo paths now as well. Come down onto this level. I think that's always nice to see, isn't it? Yeah, result was crappy and result was terrible, mate. Just shocking performance. Hmm. No. We'll end the commercial zone in here. We use that as kind of a natural barrier for that to break off and flow in. But I think in terms of decorating alongside of what will be a key arterial eventually. Let's actually also hook into the suburb at this point as well. Um, let's grab ourselves maybe a little grassy road. And we'll just come down in a couple of places. Maybe... Over here. And then we'll just repair that broken fence. You just loaded up this map on PS4. It is a decent map actually. It's um it's a nice one. Crater Falls from Sunset Harbour before anyone asks. <laughs> yeah. Thirty K sub special. Um yeah, yeah, you guys will get a thirty K sub special. If we hit thirty K subscribers. We're not there yet. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you guys will get a special. Although I don't know if I'm going to continue doing them in increments of 5,000 subscribers because I think eventually we will just kind of run out of ideas, right? I think maybe after 30k we'll switch to the next one after that will be 40k. Again, if we hit it. But we'll see. Right, let's run through all this green with little pops of grey now. With our little rocks. Occasionally, no enormous ones. Little, little small bowl of spice. Keep it simple. Okay. Hopefully, you sit fingers crossed super soon. I hope so as well, can I? Thank you for the support. Okay, this is nice. And um, let's start to kind of look at what we can develop here. So. I've got a little bit of a vision in mind of this being like like an entertainment, no not an entertainment centre, kind of like, um, I can't find the words, like an educational waterfront park, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. It's kind of what I'm going for, so I guess we'll just kind of see, right? Let's come down with our material, and again guys, please feel free to shout out asset suggestions for this. And then we'll come with road guidelines so we can find that first marker of 10, which is here. And then let's maybe swing in with the Green Cities High School, the Institute of Creative Arts. We'll place it in and then we'll start configuring some 
configurations. Waterfront campus. I think we will build the campus here. So we'll kind of have like green cities, high density residential, this little nightlife thing we worked on last week, and a campus kind of all focused around this lake. I don't think this area is really big enough for a full campus either. We won't get everything in. Got any tips and trips to help me start my city? Um, I'll probably say just watch the videos, mate, to be fair. Um, this city is the how to start for 2021. By the way, what's his map called? There it is. <laughs> Um, let me add this into the video description. Hold on. Uh, the map is called Crater Falls and it comes with the Sunset Harbour DLC. Let me add this into the um, video description so we can just refer people to it. Crater Falls from Sunset Harbour. Fantastic. Maybe something with sports. Mm-hmm. Lighthouse. Yeah, she did. <laughs> you did spell biotonical wrong. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, so some sports fields, definitely. Biotonical garden in here as well. Just keep double checking. What are you whinging about? Not enough customers? Yeah, it's fine. You'll be okay. Okay, so I think first of all, let's just kind of place all the assets that we want down here, right? Let's come ahead and see what we're working with. So we like the Institute of Creative Arts. We're also going to be working with both of the sports fields. Get these in. What else did you guys say? Um, the Botanical Garden. There we go. 15 grand. The baseball field will be lovely. We're probably a little too too small for any of the serious varsity sports yeah we don't even have the baseball unlocked it's not for a while yet either is it no not till 15k the aquatic center is pretty massive but i think we might be able to get that in that's going to draw an absolute ton of traffic though um and it's not that close to a highway exit we can feed the trams in though we can bring the trams into this area maybe the aquatic center then Maybe we can go for that. And um, what else are you guys saying? Yoga garden. That's also an excellent shout. Let's grab the yoga garden. It's on the medical tab, isn't it? Oh, no. It's locked. Oh, community pool, though. We will have a community pool. Sports hall and gymnasium. Sauna. Sure, why not? See what else we're going with. What else are you guys shouting out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could do the, um, the Imperator baseball field with the... Dirt Vanilla Path. Yep. <laughs> Karina, step in at any time. Waiting for Karina to shout out the observation tower, everyone. <laughs> Let's have a quick sip of the old drink here. A little stadium. Um, is there a little stadium? There's one in the unique building, isn't there? There's this one, and that's the Opera House. Which I guess still counts as a stadium, right? More of an arena. Need to add in a zoo. Mm, yeah, we could bring a zoo down here, actually. Do we have zoos unlocked? Yes, we do. Yeah, we could maybe integrate a small zoo into this. Thank you, Craig. Yeah, pool is better. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go for it. We need an elementary school as well, right? I think we'll just run with the Green Cities one. Yeah, okay. Oh, how about that as well? I never, ever use this building because it counts towards the campus. Uh, capacity of 4,000. Maybe that, though. We've also got some faculty buildings as well. So university students who wish to specialise in certain areas go to these faculty buildings. Each building can educate sims in one subject, like astronomy, art, biology or law. Students can pick and choose to go to one of these buildings or a main university. Okay, so they all operate individually and count towards 800. We're going to have this on the right, I think. And we're going to bring some, of course, centralised car park designs out front. So let's replay with our network here. 
Let's come out by 10. Hmm. Maybe 12, actually. This should be enough for car parks, right? Uh, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. No, we want one more grid. Comes to the red guideline. line. And then we'll call them off. This is right, I think. Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay. So they bring this up. And then we'll bring this out to the final grid. Let's grab ourselves the Institute of Creative Arts. I think kind of the orientation here is fine. It's going to be kind of facing out into the roundabout and catches your eye as you drive into this thing, right? No marina or water sport area at all. Absolutely can do. Absolutely can do, Anna. Appreciate you getting involved with the formulation of the ideas. Yeah, some of those fishing cafes as well, um, Badrana. Absolutely, yeah. Let's get some water assets in here as well. Um, so, of course, we'll go with our car parks here. God, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Plot the growables, everyone. Um, we'll come to Eco. Let's grab our car park, shall we? Are we not going to orientate that way? Okay, that's fine then. Let's come from this side instead. Yeah, we can just about get in there. Okay, for those wondering, that's the plot the growables and find it mod. And um, that uses uh, the car parks from the Green Cities DLC to generate car parks. Okay, this guy's got water as well. Not all of you. No oh, DJ with a five pound, a uh, five US dollar super chat. Panda Sanctuary, please, and a sad emotional face. Thank you so much for the super chat, DJ. Um, let me see. Panda Sanctuary. It's uh, it's here, isn't it? It's somewhere. Um, I think it's going to be too big. No, it's not. It's actually perfectly sized. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, I'm not sure how we're going to integrate it into the education theme, but yeah, thanks for the super chat, DJ. We will absolutely include the Panda Sanctuary in here. Appreciate the support. Okay, so some of those water assets we were talking about. There's fishing tours. Bird and Bee Haven might be good as well. Yeah, it might be Mark. So we've got the jet ski rental, marina, restaurant pier, beach volleyball, definitely. Skate park, maybe. Fishing Pier 2. Hmm. I don't think the restaurant, the German restaurant on the pier isn't selling me. Neither is this one. I think maybe the middle two, the marina and the jet ski rental. I think that would apply here. Yeah. City Panda Plays will be freaking out over my water pipe placement. Has he seen Palavan? It's even worse there. <laughs> it's even worse in Palavan. Yeah. Yeah, my water pipes are world famous. Being crap. <laughs> okay, I just like to follow the roads, guys. Let's take this one away. Hmm, I think they've got to be on a key. They look weird like that. Okay, let's maybe try out some key designs. Not like to cover the whole thing, but we're just gonna kind of see here. Okay, so if we bring the key in, when does that ever happen? Like perfect placement. <laughs> so convenient. And then what was the other one? Jet ski rental? Oh, the marina. There we go. Oh, but then we do get the ridiculous sized piers. First world problems, everyone. Hey from Australia, egg. Hey, Helder. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. 
It's nice to know that some of the Australians can make it. <laughs> Rach is always blaming sleep or something like that. That's the reason she never shows up. So I've always wanted Aussie land. Understand you guys are getting some pretty crazy weather at the minute. Feel as well. Okay, I think we'll partner the tennis court and the basketball court here as well, but I don't just want them next to each other. Oh, okay. This is fine though. We're going to bring this road out onto its angle. The part placements have always been weird to me without a key. Yeah. It looks a little strange, like you're just like walking down a really dirty, muddy riverbank to get to what is like an actual facility. Like the way they sit against the key makes them a lot more realistic anyway. Okay, so let's bring this one around as well. Throw the orientation. And then again, what we'll do is I think rather than doing like real intense fence borders here, we're just going to come into the grid and draw in some really nice simple stuff. Why don't you simply put a pathway next to the key so you can lower them so they're more realistic if you want. You can put I don't know, some walkway, also from Australia. Hey Patrick. Shout out to the Australians guys. Um, yeah, we could put a pathway down there. We will. We're going to have a refine the ideas today. What are some nicer patterns for a little educational build? I think kind of like education leisure centre is the vibe I'm after today. We'll see if we can replicate it. See if we can replicate it. Uh, these are too far apart. Let's maybe come down for 13. Do we want sugar maples? Yeah, I think we will. We use the pink trees for the farm. Okay. Just as a little ways in. Uh, that panda sanctuary is going to be, we're well, going to need to be really kind of centrally focused as well. So let's have a little look at how that's going to work. Um, let's actually shift the botanical garden first of all. Um, again, I'm not going to link kind of the entire road network together. Maybe not come up this far either. Okay, just coming in with some smaller intricate road network designs just to help break the patterns and designs. So we can squeeze this in here. Of course, it means us moving the sports hall and gymnasium, which is fine. Okay, so again, I do want that kind of very parky feel in this part of town. So maybe let's start to discuss some pathways. Yeah, Max is pushing the Discord if you guys aren't in there. Uh, do feel free to come and say hello. It's a lovely little community. And uh, it now has its own Minecraft server as well, as of like literally last night. So if you like playing Minecraft, come and play with us on the server. It's not my first stream, been a long time subscriber. I'm glad to hear Patrick. Thanks for the support, mate. Nice to have you here. Hmm. Okay. It's threatening to develop the vibe I'm after. It's not quite there yet. We've got 158 people here as well. Thank you so much for showing up for the little bit of Sunday action, everyone. Appreciate it. How about another smaller roundabout in here? Just so this arterial's got a little more kind of interest about it. Let's maybe take... Let's shift the sauna as well for right now, just so it's not in the way. And then can we come out here with some one-way roads? Should be able to. I think maybe come for four. Wait, one of those wasn't straight, was it? Let's go for five. Okay. 
Okay. Grab that arterial again. And then it can flow out here now. And just start to hook the water. Andy Reese with a 9.99 US dollar super chat. Always working while live streaming, but finally caught it today. Great work. Thank you so much, Andy. I really appreciate your kind words, mate. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. I'm glad you managed to managed to join one. And I appreciate the super chat. Thank you, mate. I really do. Okay, so we can feed back onto this arterial. And then let's gonna well, let's grab that panda sanctuary. This thing is four thousand eight hundred a week to upkeep. Why is that so expensive? That is insane. I guess pandas are pretty precious though, right? You kind of can't really complain at that. It's like, well, if they cost that much to upkeep, is it really a bad thing if they go extinct? <laughs> That's right, why is it so expensive? We must see the skylines, everyone. That was, of course, a joke. I'm not kind of championing the extinction of the pandas. Okay. Let's place it in and see what we think. Let's see how this asset is going to sit. Importing bamboo, true. Some more panda spice here. Just watched your first 2021, first video of how to start a city and found it really useful. No worries, Mindbreaker. I'm glad you did. Um, yeah, go ahead and check out the subsequent live streams as well, which is all in this city. Um, just kind of expanding it. Lots of detail and ideas in there and that kind of expansion tips and whatnot. If you want to, that is. If you, of course, hated the content, then I wouldn't put you through that. <laughs> I do like it. It's a nice asset. Is it absolutely murdering my income, though? Actually, no. If anything, it's increased it, which is surprising. Okay. Maybe we kind of line it up with this arterial. Is that what we're going to do? I think it is. So, let's grab a road. Let's go into our road guideline as well. So many assets in my way. <laughs> this way you get for placing them all literally where you want to do the build. Ah, oh, just a couple of tiles too short. Okay, that's fine though. Um, let's come off that road guideline. Come down this way. Let's try this. Like that. I think that's how I want it orientated. Should have been a turkey sanctuary there <laughs> next time. <laughs> maybe next time we call, maybe in Cities 2 or an expansion pack we'll get a, a turkey sanctuary. Okay, so this would be an amazing place to go to school, by the way. Imagine, like, being in elementary school and seeing pandas. Yeah, great asset colour scheme. I don't know why I read that in that way. <laughs> I don't know why I said scheme so separately. Um, vibrant over the whole theme you've got. Yeah, it does It does fit in, Patrick, you're right. I remember the early days of Palabin with the water towers in the roundabout. Definitely come a long way. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? It has. I do still have an early save of Palabin that was saved at like episode 3, when like there's nothing in the city. Thinking we're going to do some like before and after uh, cinematics for uh, maybe a little special video sometime. If that is, of course, something you guys would be interested in. If it's not, then I won't waste my time. <laughs> okay. Not like that. Let's come out like this. Can we connect here? Yes, we can. Very nice. Okay. And then I think because this is kind of such a massive asset, it does look a little weird if it's just sat on its own. So we'll start to develop a little bit of a, a road network around this now. And kind of think how we want everything else placed around it. So there's the botanical garden. We also deleted the sports hall and gymnasium. I think the botanical garden is going to go better with the panda sanctuary though, right? Do we want more car parks in here? Maybe outside the botanical? Hmm. 
We won't really have enough room for it, pushing them back that way. We'll try it anyway. Let's uh, shift this scoot out of the way for right now. Let's go by our road guideline. Okay. Let's place the botanical here. Yeah, I want to bring trams into this area as well. We could... I'm just going to intersect with this little school park over here though, which to be fair doesn't actually... Well, it does need to be here, and it doesn't. We're going to delete this school, because if we're building like an educated, well, a dedicated education centre, like literally down the road, there's no point for this to be here anymore. And it was kind of crap anyway, to be fair. I don't think anyone was really vastly enjoying it. Um, okay, let's bring the tram lines within the park still. But the gates are going to be here, aren't they? Yeah, we can't come past the gate there. Could come out this way. I mean, these junctions and turns are like really too close together. But the trams are going to be so infrequent, it's not really going to be an issue. Okay. Oh, just out. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, it's going to be a freeform tool. Little tram turnaround square here, maybe. Let's set this up. So, we'll save ourselves some room for some pathways, of course. We'll switch down into one way tram lines, too. Let's just make this little tram rectangle. Rise it above the water, it might look quite nice. You know what, Taters? That's not a bad idea. Let's come onto the road guideline. Mm, yeah, it's doing it because it's on the water, isn't it? Hmm. Can we get a lower incline over the water? That's too tall. Or is it? Yeah, yeah it is. I like the idea, but not here. I think if we just start elevating every single tram line, we'll expose ourselves. I think we'll keep curving off here. Yeah. Let's do that, and then we're on right-hand drive, so we'll have them flow in this direction. Let's bring those trams down now as well. So let's take this one away first, actually. Imagine the poor children that get on that tram to go to school, come home, it's the end of the line. <laughs> well, it's surprised the people living in this city lands. But I think they'll be okay. Let's go off the road guideline. Now, if we path border like that, we're not actually going to hook in. But we will if we come down this side. Okay, so off road length. And then out of the grid as well. Touch more. There we go. Okay. See how these trams look. Yeah, people around here now are already picking the trams up as a potential way in and out of town. Let's see how many people are going to use it to actually travel here. 
Yeah, decent amount. Not bad. Okay, cool. That works then. Um, let's mimic the path border on this side of the tram line. So it will connect into people on this stop as well. Again, the double stop is not necessary. But uh, it's nice to have that symmetry, isn't it? I think it is. Maybe discuss some part life assets as a potential option for decoration. Flower beds are always a favourite. Ever so hedges. And we do have the prop line tool now, which is nice. So we can maybe play with a little bit of repeated hedge spice as a potential decoration option. Of course, without them behaving like that. Let's maybe correct this one up. Mm -hmm. Sam McGee. <laughs> Mags, I was totally thrown away then. I was like, who the hell is Simon McGee and why is he a mod? <laughs> I was like, nope. That's Mags. Shout out to Mod Mags, everyone. Totally forgot that you're not Mags on YouTube. Okay, and then just trim off these little ridiculous ones and just straighten them up again. Okay. Couple of little repeated flower beds, maybe. And then. No food stalls here. This is just like a little a little garden, nothing serious. Maybe something. Oh, I, I never use these buildings either. What about the biodome? We'd use the biodome instead of the botanical garden. I don't know. We'll get, we're getting distracted. What the hell is this? Vertical farm, stuff that I never use. <laughs> we learn together, everyone. Let's, let's finish this first. Um, fountain as well, maybe. Okay. Big old fountain. How about one of these little news kiosks as well? I think these are really cute. We can squeeze one in next to the tram stop. They actually work as really nice little ticket offices, don't they? Even though it says grill on the, in like massive writing at the front, but you get the idea, right? It's a little ticket office. Something like that. Who knows? Bought this game two days ago because of, of you. Love watching the channel. All I've got is the base game and Transit. What DLC do you recommend I get next? Thank you so much, Matthew. I'm glad you're enjoying the game, mate, and the channel. Um... Entirely depends, mate. Um, everyone will give you a different answer. I would probably say Industries or Part Life next. Um, industries is really good. Kind of turns, you know, like you can start generating big farmlands like this. Like this is all Industries DLC stuff. Um, but Campus is really good as well. Like I always, I always like Campus. Bye, yeah, going to go on a bike ride. No worries, Slimmer. I was stopping by, dude. Even though he did get timed out, but don't do it again. And everyone will be happy. <laughs> Appreciate the support on the stream, dude. Enjoy your bike ride. Mm. I don't know. I'm very uninspired by this very small, specific bit of land. Hmm. Yeah, but if if, uh, if chat wants to shout out some little DLC ideas for Matthew, he's just got the game, he has mass transit. Yeah, everyone will give you a different reason to get a different DLC, mate. Um, but if you are looking to pick up the DLCs, there is a referral link in the description below to Instant Gaming, and they're all super cheap, and it does help support the channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, campus or part life. Uh, industries or part life I would get, mate. If you want my personal advice. I'll go for one of those too. Okay. This isn't sitting right with me at all. 
I think it's just it's the orientation. It's just a little strange. Let's rework the road network a touch. Um, and then we're going to come onto the road guideline and the grid, and then we'll draw up something parallel with the arterial. Yes, please. Casino with a five US dollar super chat. Today's stream is brought to you by Tesco. Tesco, every little helps. Shop Tesco today. Thanks, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, the stream isn't sponsored by Tesco, but um, if anyone affiliated with Tesco is watching the stream, uh, feel free to get in touch. <laughs> More appreciate the Super Jack Casino. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't have to do double car parks, right? We can just come out with a single row of them. I think. Yeah, we can. Okay. We do need to come out by one more distance here. What was that? 450? Let's come by 500. Hmm. Okay. And let's maybe have a look at that biodo. It's not going to fit here, is it? What does it even look like? I'll literally never look at this thing. Hmm. It really fits in with the build, kind of that quirky building aesthetic. We've we'll got the people here as well already. Yeah, it it fits in, doesn't it? This saw the botanical garden. Fugly, Jeff isn't a fan. Looks like a football. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Kendai is a fan. Looks like the biosphere in Arizona. Interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not sold on it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, okay. Um, what about the botanical? Is that going to fit in this space that we've got now? And again, we don't, we don't even need this road network along the side. I don't know why I'm trying to preserve it. It's not going anywhere. I think the botanical is going to work better for this area, isn't it? Okay. And then we'll bring through our car parks again too, just so there's a little more kind of importance and eye drawing to the front of the botanical. And also some actual supporting functional space for people to visit. And then the path border is not repeated here, so we will repeat it in this section. What's the measurement? 60. It's four tiles, isn't it? There it is. Fantastic. Okay. And then we'll repeat that design again. Okay. Let's border up the main road. With some fencing. And we'll kind of see what we're thinking here. See what's going on. Casino with another five US dollar super chat. Today's stream is also brought to you by Maybelline, a beautiful line of makeup products. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's, May <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Thank you so much, Casino. I appreciate the super chats, mate. And, uh, yeah. If that is being taken out of context by anyone, I am not sponsored by Maybelline, but I'm open to the idea. Again, if any representatives are present, <laughs> feel free to get in touch. If I can secure you guys like 10% off Maybelline's next hotline, I think I think that's something we can all enjoy, isn't it? Is that a cow? Is that a bear? Dude, there's a... <laughs> what the hell, man? Why is there just a bear here? Is nobody going to do anything about this? <laughs> this is not the place for a bear to be. What the hell? All the makeup products are available. Yes, taters. <laughs> they are. The bear's on the move, man. Is this going to despawn? He seems very interested in all these people over here. 
I've never ever noticed the bears here. <laughs> You've got him fenced in, he can't leave, he can. It's open at this side. Oh. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I never ever remember seeing bears in City of Skylands before. <laughs> okay. Um, let's come back in with our repeated sugar maples here. Bring this part all the way along. I wonder if he's going to stay. He's been around for a while. Never noticed him. Never noticed him. Can you put an antelope in with the bear? Can I place these things? I can't even... He's just here. I didn't place him, did I? Unless he's like fallen out of the sanctuary. I can't even click on these little animals. Pandas. I, I can't name them. There are bears, wolves, and I think even moose in this map. Well, who knew? Well, I don't think he's going to despawn, so we'll just leave him there. That's fine. Maybe it's like a friendly bear. <laughs> Should we rename him Winnie the Pooh? Can I claim this one? Can we rename it? Oh, we can as well. Winnie. <laughs> Not like that. Cat plug is on. Is that how you spell Winnie the Pooh? I have no idea. I think so. I'm spending far too much time on this. Is that, is that how you spell it? I feel like I'm getting this really wrong. Let me Google this. Winnie. Is it IE? It's IE, isn't it? Not. <laughs> not spelled like that. Oh no, expose my inner Manchester. <laughs> Wait, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie, yeah, thanks for the correction, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, Winnie the Pooh is here. Wait, did I put the, the H in the Pooh? No, I didn't. Does it have a H? I've already forgotten. Who cares? I'm spending too much time on this. Okay. So, Winnie the Pooh is a Canadian bear. Is he? I thought he was English. Not that it matters. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start flanking now with some vanilla dirt path. Because I'm going to start creating the little kind of parky vibes that I want around these two assets. Okay, just little winding dirt paths like this that hook into varying different places at different points. And then we'll decorate out with... Yes, Pooh? W Winnie the... Yeah, I've actually spelled it like as in Winnie the Pooh, isn't it? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I can't change it now. <laughs> he just left. Oh no, that's so bad. Maybe some commercial in the blank spots. Yeah, we can try a little bit of commercial here. Why not? He's gone? Yeah, he is gone. He must have despawned. Or oh, he's like elsewhere within this part of town now. But the local population doesn't even remotely seem phased by the fact that there is a bear in the local area. So we'll just kind of run with it. And I hope that it's okay. Okay, let's come through with a base conifer line. And then we'll move down a size. And start squeezing in some of these. Maybe a couple of these here and there as well. And... What is this? A little cherry tree. Where's this from? That's nice. Let's get a few of these in as well. We will get some colourful trees in this point. Just maybe switch up to one of these as well. A couple of different flower trees. Very kind of exotic. Almost like an extension of the botanical garden, right? That's kind of the vibe that we're trying to generate here. Okay. We well, did call the bear a poo egg. It's true, DJ. <laughs> it's true, it did. Elementary school student Christopher Robin is now missing. <laughs> Last seen talking to a bear. <laughs> yes, Jeff, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, Christopher Robin has uh, not been seen in the last 10 minutes, guys. It's probably off to the forever 
Land Wood, or whatever it's called. I, I can't even remember it. It's been years since I've watched Winnie the Pooh. What's it called? Like the friend, the Wood of Friends. It's not that. <laughs> That's not it at all. But it's something like the Wood, isn't it? I'm pretty sure there's the word Wood in there at some point. It's not the Friendship Wood. <laughs> it's not. Not where Winnie the Pooh lives. Okay, let's come through that freeform tool. And just help border up this entrance to the community park. 100 acre wood, that's it, thank you. Yeah, I knew it was wood. We got there in the end, thanks guys. <laughs> knew you guys would know. I think it would be better if it was called the Friendship Wood though, right? Okay. Let's bring our path vibes to enclose this part of town now as well. And we should start to see a little bit of the vibe just coming together now with those recent additions. Let's bring it down. Okay, fine. That's a little janky. We've got to fix that. But apart from that, we're just coming through. Can I plays with a ten US dollar super chat? Name it, Christopher Robin Memorial Park. Absolutely, we will. We will do. Um, let's grab ourselves a district over here. Thanks so much for the super chat, Can I appreciate the support. Really do appreciate you. Okay. So we're going for Christopher or Robin. Capitalize the M. Memorial Park. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the super chat, Kendo. Appreciate it. Okay. How are we feeling now? As we're kind of just looking towards the entrance. David B with a £10 super chat. Uh, tried the game when it originally came out, didn't like it, off with health issues since last year, and found your Friendwood series have been hooked ever since. Really? Friendwood hooked you in? <laughs> of all the cities on YouTube, Friendwood was the one that baited you into the game. <laughs> uh, thanks, David. Appreciate that super chat, mate, and um, I hope all is well. I'm sorry to hear that you're poorly, and uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying the series. If you haven't uh, checked out Palavan, Palavan's kind of my. My little baby. My little Palavin's pieces. But I'm glad that Fremwood is still having an effect. <laughs> All this time later. Good old Fremwood, man. That city was horrific. If you guys want, we can load up Fremwood towards the end of today's stream and go have a little look around it if you like. It's been ages since I've been in there. Don't this Fremwood? I got hooked up. <laughs> Friend would baited you all into it. Mm, I don't know how. <laughs> it would have baited me in <laughs> if I was watching. <laughs> uh, okay. This is not an asset that belongs here. Um, I guess we can give this. Let's pull all of this in still. Oh, no, not that. Um, I guess Green City's commercial might work nicely. In this area. Bring it down on those roads. Fill it all in. Okay. Let's return to the waterfront of this little area now. And we'll see if we can generate anything similar. Look at the love for Fremwood in the chat. Yeah, look at the, the wood for Fremwood. Appreciate the support, guys. Even though Fremwood's got some... The berries back, is it? Did I miss it? Or is it over here now? I'm going to have to change the title of the stream once we finish to trying to find a bear in city skylines. Or we could even go like this one simple bear trick and like make it clickbait. Like you won't you won't believe this one simple bear trick. We could do that. Need to change the title for sure though. Okay, let's go for green city zone in here. And we'll kind of see if anything's going to fit in naturally. With this, okay. Um, let's get the elementary school in. 
Or do we even need it now? Yeah, we will do. We might as well get it in while we're here. Okay, so we'll terraform, touch more, give ourselves a little more breathing space. Friend mod channel in the Discord. <laughs> If you guys want it, we can do a Fremwood Discord. What, what even would that be? Is that just you guys sharing pictures of Fremwood? <laughs> just so you can annoy the meme. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the elementary school. Now, we're not going to put car parks out the front of this one. Well, then again, that would make sense. Kind of car parks out of the front of the three key assets. Also gives us some repeated pattern spice up here as well. Hmm. I could put a burger bite in the area to lure the bear away from the school. <laughs> yeah, we could do. We could do. Okay, I'm just going to go for it guys. If you guys don't appreciate it then oh, I'm saying I'm sorry. Oh no, here comes the flooding everyone. Okay, that'll be fine. So we'll hook into here. Let's then grab the community pool. And we'll squeeze this in alongside kind of our other little collection of parky assets that we've got going on. Okay. Oh, we got a, a bear meme thing running in the Discord now. Let me check it. Let me check this out. Well, I've got a message from SA as well. Wonder what SA wants. <laughs> yes, mine. Yes, mine. Are. That's perfect, mate. That's perfect. <laughs> if you guys um don't know what I'm talking about here, we've got a fat memes channel on the Discord. Here you go. <laughs> Cheers, mine. Are. Appreciate that, mate. Couldn't resist, I'm glad. I'm glad you didn't resist. Okay, let's grab the sauna as well now. Okay, let's throw the sauna in there and then we'll rework that path network to just complement it a little more. Let's go for there. And then I think we'll introduce maybe some part life assets. Just like the smallest little information booth maybe. We'll see. Let's get a little nighttime spice going while I have a sip of the old drink here. Okay. We'll hopefully start to see something develop soon enough. Could be lands. Who knows these days? Who casino is anymore? Mm, yeah, casinos really bought into the Minecraft vibe recently. After joining the stream and slating it off as a kid's game, <laughs> he literally spent the next 15 hours playing it. <laughs> Shout out to Casino, everyone. We've got 172 people here as well. Appreciate everyone stopping by for a little bit of Sunday fun. I hope you've had a nice week. Okay, I'm feeling hydrated again. So... What would it look like if we started? Hold on, let's not even wait for this. Let's just place the assets from um, plot the growables. Oh, it's these, you know, these little fruit markets. These are super cute, man. This is so like, this is so late district. These little huts, little market stalls that just like pop up everywhere. I'm a big fan of them. I'm a big fan. Let me try out some other ones. Maybe a repeated pattern. We'll try. We're just kind of experimenting here, right? That's what Sunday streams are for. Can I plays with a 10 US dollar super sticker? It's the Lemon Man giving it the maracas again. Thank you so much, Can I appreciate the support. Um, weekly, every single week, you uh, you super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And thank you for the lemon man as well. 
Okay, I think that's all right, isn't it? Just as a little way to fill out a very boring corner. I think I can get on board with that. We'll see anyway. Um, let's discuss the key because if we're going to have this in, then we need to straighten up the shore. Um, so let's come down a little, little brush size and just start tugging away at some of these things here. Okay, let's keep going through. Up until a point. I'll just allow the key to settle here. Please, please give water pipes to the cafe. Does it not have it? Oh, yeah, these ones. Oh, that's not efficient at all. <laughs> okay. Not that I'm trying to be efficient, but might as well while we've started, right? Hmm. Alright. Okay. So, let's have a look. Riding stables is too, not really the right vibe for this area, I don't think. Could squeeze in a skate park here as well, which I think will tie in quite nicely with the... See, the, kind of the red and the greys are going to complement each other here, between the creative arts and everything else. Okay, I'm not super loving the way the key just ends here, though, behind the thing. Maybe just bring it down a little bit further. And then we'll start to bring in maybe some small bum crack spice with these rocks. The other one as well, just the singular, this one. Not that close to the tram line though. To about there. That should be okay. Mm, is it though? <laughs> is it okay? Um, let's maybe try and just pack it out with some. Some overgrowth. I wish there was kind of a smoother way to end keys without them kind of looking crap in the vanilla game. Not the bum crack spice, please, says Ashley. It's too late already. It is here. Okay. Let's have a look at some more of those water assets. We want the beach volleyball court in here as well. We could double these up to help fill that space. Is that is that like cheaping it out? I don't know. How about as well? No. We'd maybe come through and upgrade these into without decorations in certain places. It's getting a little too tree spicy at some points. Maybe it's like these little central ones as the ones with decorations. Okay. I guess we'll see. Come through now with it's this space here. Let's make sure we're not missing any any kind of really nice key assets that we've overlooked. Tropical garden is something we have overlooked. That would have worked nicely in here, as would the Japanese garden. One of the plazas, maybe? Paradox? Nothing's going to fit here anyway, it's all three deep. Okay, maybe let's just turn this into some transitional stuff, because we've already got some nice packed-in designs here. So, let's come onto the grid. Oh, it's going to be awkward, isn't it, because we're near the key. Oh, fun. Fantastic, okay. I think what we might do is bring the part life area down and then use some of these, some of the part life pairs here. 
Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's grab that part life area from further down. Um, Queen Gambit Park. So this actually will flow in this area. So let's grab it and allow it to continue along the waterfront. Obviously where this will stop people from paying to get in the park, but it's a tram park anyway, so people are going to get in for free regardless. Okay, and then let's grab maybe Park Pit 1. Maybe a couple of these. Okay. Let's come off everything but the angle. Fantastic. And that's going to allow us to hook in and hopefully draw a little more attention to the waterfront here. We need decorating in these empty spaces, of course, but I think we can all get on board with that, right? Steve Lynan with a £10 super chat. Need to head out. Great content as always, dude. Thank you so much, Steve. And um, great comments as always, dude. Um, take care heading out. I appreciate the super chat, mate. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. So again, I think with the very similar vibes that we've had in this part of town, I'm going to continue with our bordering fence designs. Um, kind of like we did over in the arterial with the fence and then the green belt stuff. We'll keep the idea flowing here. Is it weird that I'm just listening to Egg with headphones while I multitask? What can I watch right now? Not weird at all, TC. Especially after the uh, the flawless port recommendations, you feel free to do whatever you want, mate. Shout out to Two C, everyone. He did get one last episode, but uh, we'll give him another one for his absolute port spam in the real life cities inspiration channel on the Discord. Okay, so if we're going to do our own trees here, we definitely want to come through without decorations on the main path. Otherwise, again, it'll be too spicy. 180 people here. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Appreciate you all stopping by for a little bit of Sunday fun. Thank you. Hope you're all having a nice time. Okay. Let's keep our tree pattern varied and mixed here. Okay. Uh, maybe something small. Maybe a couple of those little cherry blossoms that we're so fond of at the minute. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm liking it. I'm kind of building it. I'm just like, ugh. No. <laughs> Is it all right? DJ is a big fan. <laughs> it's like the first comment I see. Maybe one or two shelters as well. Oh, like the, the gazebos? Yeah, the gazebos will look nice in there, actually. Which we don't even have them unlocked yet, so no. But we will when we can. Okay. Yeah, I do need a breakwater two C. You're right. We'll we'll uh, we'll build that next pile of them live stream, or I'll do it off camera. Be really easy to do now as well. With now we can drop the rocks in with a prop line tool, make it look a lot neater. Okay, so do we want to mimic the roundabout here so it's kind of mirrored at each end? Kind of look like a little dog bone then? Especially with the arterials coming out of this? Yeah, I think we will. Let's do that. Go ahead and grab those increased height. A very small amount. I think that's about right, is it? Yeah, it'll be okay. Let's grab the U. Centralize it as close as we can. I think a couple of spots are large over here. And then we'll come through with our nature reserve fencing. Yeah, we do need to name Port Palavan. Um, or Palavan Port, rather. I guess you can say it either way, it doesn't really matter, does it? But um, yeah, we will give it a name. Probably next live stream. Okay, absolute flawless fence, everyone. <laughs> that was like so tight into the uh, into the road. There we go. Okay, 
Okay. This area is on its way. It's a very awkward empty space here. How is this green city zoning integrated in? Maybe just a bit more of that then. Maybe just like a little bit of that and do we want to bring the sugar maple pattern up along the side of the road? No, probably don't. Not really. You are so beautiful to me. Thank you, Jeff. I'm glad you like the trees. Okay, but people are flowing. There's a bit of an awkward area here. I guess we can make some kind of path triangle with this, though. Let's try that. Talking to that point. Maybe make these ones that are in the triangle all without decorations now then. Okay. Maybe that's going to be okay. A little free space could be a custom playground. Mm, I think we'll do that over here though. I don't really want it outside the panda sanctuary. That would be a little odd. Um, let's do one here though. Let's go ahead and grab some props. Can you prop wine these? Why on earth would you <laughs> would you ever need to do that? That's so random. But okay. Let's go for a little slide. You know, kind of one of each of these little slides, right? So uh, sea soul spice as well. Spinning wheel. It's kind of small. We can make it work though. Um, and then also. Uh, the sand pits from the part life DLC. We'll see if we can maybe squeeze in a couple of these, okay? And we might be really pushing it for space, but if we can squeeze through with vanilla dirt path, I think everyone's going to be happy. Okay. I'll just bring it around the edge of the assets, alright? And then let's give it its own little fence border, so it is kind of like a little, a little playground. The other circle is different from the other. You referring to the roundabouts? Oh, they're the same. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the outside. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's inverted, isn't it? It's fine though. We can um, we can deal with that. Okay. Let's see what we can do with some little parky prop assets to fill out what is an otherwise awkward corner here, right? A couple of big trees in here as well, just to maybe provide shade over over the land. Maybe a little smaller tree pattern along this path here that kind of borders off that area. And smaller overgrowth, of course. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? I don't think. It's a, it's a little bit Poundland, <laughs> but I think we can get away with it. I think it's all right. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Maybe even more park assets, actually. It's a little bit kind of empty, isn't it? It's like, I think you'd be waiting a long time for a go on one of these little slides if you do visit this park. This is too close as well. Bring that over there. Maybe bring the seesaw in a little closer too. Okay. I guess we'll see. Hmm. Just say it was on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> it was absolutely intentional. Okay. And then I think something just to help round out the head. Maybe just like a little plaza where people can come and sit and enjoy a coffee up against the waterfront like nothing else here. So we'll come out with our grass road again on road length and angle. And then we'll come out by 200 each side. And let's have a look at the plazas. So, plaza with picnic tables is more of what I'm after, I think. Okay. Obviously, another terraforming. We'll sort this out, but. I think maybe a couple of these plazas, maybe just one. I'll just have it to round out the head. Okay. 
Let's go for that. I think I'm on board with it. Would make sense to bring the key around this side as well, though. Do we want to do that? No, we don't. I don't want this area to be keyed. It'll start looking kind of too, too corporate and official then. I want it to retain something of its parky vibe. Okay, let's wait for the water to go away. Where's my hot dog stand, dude? In the bin, Nicole, where it belongs. <laughs> Put a few tables and lamps. Yes, that's a very good shout, actually. Um, buttercup, tables. Very good shout, indeed. Are you referring to this hot dog stand, Nicole? Like, in this park? Yeah, this probably justifies a hot dog stand, to be fair. Uh, actually, maybe an ice cream truck, while it's, like, a kid's playground. Maybe this guy can, like, set up shop here. Couple more of those tables as well, maybe. Like, right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Great idea. Okay. So we can't centralize against the road, which is fine. So we'll put it on kind of the other other axis. Let's take this one away as well. This is some, there's some disgusting terraforming happening here. Let's push out a little bit more. This one as well. Okay. Thank you very much. No, nope, not like that. <laughs> we'll wait for it to go. Oh, it takes so long. We need to expand population because people are dying here as well. Do we have a graveyard yet? Just the one. Okay, let's give them another one. Um, we are getting a little bit of death. Oh, just throw it there for right now. We'll use Demolish to get rid of it. But at least people won't abandon while we wait, right? Okay. Let's bring our road to box it in. And then I guess we can continue the pathway that flows behind the school now. Would make sense to bring this down here. Okay. And then again, just to help continue the pattern here, we're going to bring this little green belt pattern that's following the pathway. It's come off all snap in here. Very nice. Grab some more of those little tufty overgrowth bits. We'll snap to the angle again at this point. And then just like perfectly box in. Uh, how many squares are we down here? Leaving three on the side. So the pathway will come out from this point here. Cool. I'm actually quite a big fan of the way this little picnic peninsula, if you can if we're looking for a name to call it, has worked out here. How about that? Okay, let's continue with those overgrown river vibes. We'll maybe centralize some kind of important tree at the head of this as well. Okay, let's grab that fence in again. Allow it to follow the pathway. Maybe get some larger rocks in here as well. Maybe one like this. Centralized with a redwood. I heard someone in the chat picking up the redwoods earlier. Quick sip of the old drink here, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little nighttime view together, shall we? And have a little catch up. You guys can hear my throat getting trashed throughout the streams. <laughs> the idea, this could definitely be refined into like a modular build. We've done something similar before with a, a leisure center. I think we did a couple of months back. That rock blocks the view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It does block it. 
Maybe a little pear restaurant or whatever they're called. Yeah, the pear restaurant would look nice there actually, for once. I'm not usually a huge lover of that one, but yeah, it would it would do. Okay. Let's explore that possibility. Um that's the fishing pier. The restaurant pier. Yeah, let's terraform to factor that in. That's gonna look nice. Okay. Let's grab our slope terrain tool. And we'll just start chipping away at a little bit of this landmass. Who suggested that? Buttercup. Yeah, nice idea of the buttercup. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can we centralize this? We can try. There we go. Let's take away the fencing now, redraw it in so it doesn't look stupid. Very nice. And how about some trees either side? Maybe a couple of redwoods. You're welcome. Thank you, Buttercup. Thank you. I kind of feel like I'm trying to force the redwoods in, but no one in chat has horrifically rejected them yet, so I think we're okay. Let's get some base layer trees in here again. Moving around with our sizes, of course. Lots of internal layers of height is always nice with these builds, I think. Especially with the... Especially with our trees. Okay. Okay. Mm, this asset's in here now. Nah, I don't like this corner. This corner's annoying me. We'll come back and work on that though. Let's um, continue to bring our pathway basically all the way up to the top of the road now, right? Yep, that'll be nice. Nice, easy. Repeatable pattern to follow. Okay. Warning that Aussie Queen has awoken. Oh, is she, is she turned up, is she? It's nice of her. She's early as well, isn't she? She usually doesn't rock it up until the end. Which we're actually not that far away from now, to be fair. So, actually, no, she's alright. There she is. <laughs> Morning, Rach. Welcome to the stream. I hope the rain isn't too bad today. Yeah, for those that don't kind of get the joke, um, Rach, Mod Rach usually kills our streams every time she wakes up. It's usually a sign for everyone to go and hide offline. Welcome to the stream, Rach. It's nice to have you for once. I'm not sure if you've seen it this day. <laughs> you never hear. But, uh, but welcome. It's not a criticism, by the way, <laughs> that you never hear. I realise you live in like some insane time zone. Okay, let's continue with some overgrown riverbank spice. Start spamming some bushes in here as well. Okay. Some smaller ones, are they insane? We're actually getting some slight autumnal vibes as well with how close the trees are to the water, which I'm not kind of adverse to. I don't think anyway. Okay. No, look at the love for Rach in the chat, everyone. <laughs> you should wake up earlier, Rach. Okay, I think maybe we'll start introducing some more zoning here as well now. This is still in the Green City District, right? Nope, but it will be. Okay, we've literally spent the entire stream on this one little peninsula. Um, it doesn't even look like that much. We've been live for like an hour and 45. But yeah. Oh, we've got gazebos finally. 
finally. <laughs> let's, uh, let's place some of those in. Because we've been wanting some gazebos for a while. Um, maybe one there. Delete the fence. Yeah, that fits in very nicely. Just the one. Here we go for one here as well. Okay. Mm, all right, and then I think what we'll do with this pathway, just as the zoning begins to kind of emerge, is just let it kind of come into the roundabout, and then we can flash out with maybe some more kind of triangle patterns that seem to be making an appearance within the pathways in this part of the town. And then we can just start coming through some base layer overgrowth and some more park fencing to help finish off the roundabout. But quite a successful little build today, I think. I am happy with it for the most part. But we've a lot of fun. I think that's what's most important. Okay, let's bring fence in here as well. And then a couple of these little conifers. Couple of the beaches, maybe a paladin pine, and then a couple of these small trees just on the outskirts, and a base layer of bush in the middle. Fantastic, very nice indeed. Yeah, I think that work alright. Don't want the actual car parks there. It's like the one time we don't want car parks here. Bear check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's check on the bear. No, the bear's been evicted now, hasn't he? Unless he's employed by um, the green shop. But yeah, the bear's gone. We need a poo. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this now. Um, let's continue this pattern here, just so we're not leaving some dead space for the thumbnail. Um, let's bring it down here. Do we want to hook that road into the path? No, there's no point, really. It's like right next to the roundabout. We'll see. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, I'm off now. See you later, taters. Thanks for stopping by on the stream, mate. I really appreciate the support. I uh, hope you have a good Monday, dude. And take care of yourself. Mm hmm. Hey Egg, that long walk would make a great uh, bike path. Um, yes it would. Yes it would. Yes. If we bring... Where does that cycle road stop? Yeah, we can make this outside infrastructure bike path. Or actually, maybe not here because that's really going to fracture the look of the waterfront. But we'll start it from like this point here. So from this point we'll transition into cycle highway. And then this can just flow out the rest of the city. And back into here. Which will be splendid. Very nice indeed. Buttercup man. It's fantastic ideas today. Shout out to Buttercup everyone. Yeah okay. Let's um, definitely keep this fence pattern going as awkward as it is around bike paths because for some reason it likes to snap into the nodes super annoying i wish they'd fix that okay some smaller tree patterns to border the back of the school here make sure we're not going to be hitting the heads of the cyclists and there we go fantastic Let's come through again. Some more of our green belt design. And we should. I'm terrible at building, uh, working cities, but I love detailing. Snap, dude. <laughs> Snap. Yeah. This is looking nice now, though. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of this. Nice little intricate road networks with the. which help to kind of pair assets together, like all the sports and kind of health and recreational stuff here. Yeah, we could always upgrade and downgrade Spice Cat, you're right, but 
I never re ever remember to do that. <laughs> but yes, you are right. You can get around that by just downgrading into the vanilla ones. Okay. We are going to leave the stream there, guys. Let's find a place to say our goodbyes. Maybe looking out over the Panda Sanctuary. Uh, here we go. Today's little build in the 2021 Tutorial City to satisfy some educational demand. Okay, guys. I want to call the stream there. I've been live for a little over an hour and 50 minutes. I want to thank you all so much for your support tonight. Again, super generous with the super chats, as you guys are every single time. I really appreciate that. You just kind of blow me away every week. Uh, thanks to the mods. Um, Jane, Mags, Nicole, DM, Blands have been in most of the night. Um, really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for keeping everyone in order. Um, and for, yeah, just being little heroes. And thanks for all the support from everyone else. Um, Minak, King James, Spice Cat, Buttercup especially. Fantastic suggestions from Buttercup tonight. Uh, Jeff as well, Ian was here earlier, DJ, Jürgen, thanks guys, really appreciate all the support on the Sunday streams, um, yeah, Ash was here as well earlier, wasn't she? She's probably lodged in Minecraft <laughs> at some point, uh, it'd be Misty, yeah, Honorata, thanks guys, I'll speak to you, oh yeah, quick announcement as well before we go, um, Palavan probably won't be out on Tuesday because I'm having a boiler fitted and they're like ripping the walls apart to install radiators and stuff, so Palavan will be late. But I'll let you know how late on the community tab and in the Discord. And Ash is here. <laughs> Thanks so much for the support, guys. I'll speak to you all next week. Have a wonderful Monday. But otherwise, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.